back and thank you for joining me on my learning block. Today we are classifying quadrilaterals. Um, yeah, no, I'm playing. Yeah, we're, cl we're classifying quadrilaterals because it is an important task that we need to do because not only do we need to understand that quadrilaterals are polygons with four sides and four shapes, we also need to know that there are different types of polygons, I mean different types of quadrilaterals. And today we are going to focus on classifying trapezoids. Now trapezoids are so entertaining to draw, right? I really used to, I, no, sidebar, I enjoyed when I was a child playing with those little blocks, the trapezoid block was always my favorite because I could put, I think it was one, two, three, four. I could put four together and the shape then became a hexagon. It was amazing. Um, well, I'll show you that at the very end, what it looked like. But in the meantime, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral. Um, it's not a parallelogram, meaning it has two parallel, two, two parallel sides, two pairs of parallel sides. It is not. It's just a quadrilateral, which means it has four sides and four angles, but it has one pair of parallel sides. Now, that is how we define a quadrilateral. What does this look like? It is something similar to this shape as these sides are parallel, these sides are not. So a parallel, uh, a trapezoid has this type of function or this type of look. And that's how we classify it because it has one pair of parallel sides. Now let's go back to talk about parallel sides for a moment because your child needs to understand what a parallel side means. Um, a parallel, uh, parallel sides are lines or line segments um, running side by side, never crossing, having the same distance between them forever. All right, so these are, if this line was straight and perfect, these will be parallel side, parallel lines. These are not. Sooner or later, they're going to intersect about right here. Uh, another way, these are parallel, are, are, are not. Um, an X is definitely not parallel because they intersect. And if it intersects, sorry for that. If it intersects, then it is not a parallel side. Now let's look at trapezoids to be more specific. Um, these four shapes are all trapezoids. As you can see, they have one pair of parallel sides. And then these sides obviously are not parallel because they would meet somewhere around here if they continue to go. Here we have another set of parallel sides here and then your base um, and those are not the same. And I said base and height because those are the way you measure trapezoids. Sorry, getting ahead of myself. That's why I stopped. Um, this as well has parallel one pair of parallel sides. These sides are not. It is still technically a trapezoid, a different type of trapezoid. Uh, here we have it again. These sides are not. So all four of these are trapezoids. It has one pair of parallel sides uh, and it is a quadrilateral. Now let's look at the non trapezoids and find out why they are not. Uh, this shape right here is a rectangle. It has four right angles, correct? But it has two pairs of parallel sides, thus making it a parallelogram, not a trapezoid. Make sure your child understands the whole idea of the difference between a parallelogram and a trapezoid. A parallelogram has multiple, two pairs of parallel sides, whereas a trapezoid only has one. Again, we have two pairs parallel sides. And for this one, two pairs of parallel sides. So they are not trapezoids. Now, if we were to extend that part, that part and keep coming across like that, then we could get it to become a, um, we can get it to become a trapezoid here. We have one, two, three, four, five 
snuck his way in here, that Pentagon. All right, so these are, I'll go back to these. These are your examples of trapezoids. It is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides and it is beautiful like these. Now, remember I told you I was gonna show you what I used to enjoy doing? All right, so we would have those little blocks, right? And it looked very similar to this one right here. And they go like this, and then I'd get another one and put it right there. Then I'd get another one, put it right there. And then I would get one to put over the top like that. Oh. I was so wrong, it creates a square. Somehow they create some, you can put them together and make them create a hexagon. If you remember how to do that, send me a message and let me know. All right, um, anyway, I'll keep practicing that and you keep working with your child and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for joining me on my learning blog and uh, keep learning with me.